systems biology is an approach to understand how different parts assemble dynamically um, to, to give rise to the unique phenotypes you see for individual species. Now, they are biological circuits. We, we constantly call them biological circuits, and you may have heard people saying it's similar to electronic circuits, but I would, I would draw a distinction between the two in that electronic circuits, which are also comprised of interacting parts, so uh, individual transistor or resistor and so forth does not make a radio, but how they wire to one another with other parts makes a radio a radio. Right? But the difference with biological circuits is that those parts in electronic circuits remain wired in the way they were designed. But in biological circuits, the circuits assemble dynamically. So parts are synthesized, they're reused, they're shared, and, and that process requires a top-down approach. Because if it was a bottom-up approach, you could build the, the circuit by characterizing each part and finding who it interacts with. But if those interactions change dynamically in times and environment space, you need to come top down and look at all parts and how they operate at the same time. So that's the distinction between classical and, and uh, systems biology.